Well, a brand new report from a human rights group found that the Cuban regime was responsible for the death of prominent political activist Osvaldo Payá in 2012. The new findings published by the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights found that an official government car rammed the vehicle carrying Payá and another activist, causing it to crash, killing both men. Payá gained international attention, leading a grassroots movement for a national referendum and free elections. Joining us now is Rosa Maria Payá, the daughter of Osvaldo Payá. She is also an activist, founder of Cuba Decide. Rosa Maria, thank you for being with us. Just wondering, what's your reaction to this new report? Thank you so much, Jose. And after, after 10 years of fighting for the truth, after also more than 10 years of persecution, lies, propaganda of the Cuban regime to try to hide its crime, we finally have a victory. And the Inter-American Commission for Human Rights, that it must be said, is the most important body, multinational body, uh, on human rights in our continent, has released this decision saying very clearly that the Cuban state is responsible for the killing of my father and Harold Sepero. This is almost unprecedented in the, in, the, in the case of Cuba. And this is also a big step in the direction of justice, the justice that we know that will only arrive when Cuba, when, when we have a transition process, when, when the dream of liberty of my fathers become reality. Rosa Maria, I'm just wondering, I mean, your father was a pacifist. He was looking to establish change within the parameters of what existed in the island today, 63 years plus of a dictatorship. Just wondering, first of all, he was also your father, but and you were there in Cuba. I'm wondering, is this a once- a one-off, you think? This is just a, a, co a once in a lifetime thing that the Cuban government did? No, it's not. It's not. And, and that's why this verdict is so important, because it's not only calling for justice on the, on the crime against my father and Harold, but it's also shining a light over all the victims of that regime, past and present. While we talk, there are more than 1,000 political prisoners in jail in Cuba. We are living the worst repression in years on the island, and that's why it's so crucial that the international community, especially the member states of the Organization of American States, including United States, take an action and join this condemnation from the Inter-American Commission and take action and demand justice. Justice for this crime against my father, but also justice for the Cuban people that is demanding freedom. It's the only way to stop the impunity. It's the only way to stop the atrocities that the regime is still committing on the island. And Rosa Maria, just on, on a you know more personal note, I'm just wondering what went through your mind and through your heart when you read that report about something that affected you and your family so personally and so so vividly. Listen, nothing is going to bring back my father. Nothing is going to bring back Harold. But this uh, recognition of the truth is in many ways a relief. This is a step in the direction of justice. And justice is what we want. And um, my family, but I do believe the Cuban people, we are not going to stop until we achieve that justice, that freedom, that democracy, that was also, and it is also, the legacy that, uh, that my father has left us. And that legacy lives on. It lives on on our movement, but it also lives on on, uh, on the fight of the Cuban people for freedom. Rosa Maria Payá, I thank you very much for being with us this morning.